And up top is Frida Hansdotter of Sweden, 27 years old, fifth earlier in the GS. And Dan, here's a woman who is so talented and has been on fire this season. Second place in the last four consecutive slaloms, three of them to the great American phenom, Michaela Schifrin. So looking for her first win on the World Cup. And as we've seen here in the world, she might as well make it in the World Championships. Again, so many have. Two runs, the combined time total of the two determines the medalists. And right now, Hans Dotter's got a pretty good run going here, about three tenths ahead. That, oh, lack, that lack of a pole plant, you can see her right arm especially, she holds it up really high. It used to really get her in trouble. Well, she's learned to manage it. It's a bit of a strange style with those high arms, but she makes it work. Really slinky in the legs. Hans daughter keeping it in the green ahead of Maze as she comes to the line by about a half second. And a solid performance by Hans Daughter, which is to be expected. She's been so consistent this season, and these are not difficult conditions. We're going to see all-out attack, especially by the women that start early in the race. They've really got an advantage with a smooth course. Schifrin, who has her mother here, who has been touring this World Cup circuit with Michaela, who already has three World Cup wins before the age of 18, the youngest American to do that. Watching her on top here, she's known for being a little bit slow to get into her rhythm on a slalom course. We've seen a lot of the racers be a bit cautious so far here on top. Just two tenths back, that's nice. Look at how solid this technique is. You know, her mom, of course, has a great eye. Schifrin's the first to say that. I like watching uh, World Cup videos with her mom so that they can kind of break down technique. And of course, it's Shields technique that she's broken down most of all. Comes from a racing family. Mom was teaching on the hill while pregnant with Michaela. Her dad, Jeff, is an anesthesiologist who raced at Dartmouth. Her older brother, Taylor, flew in. He's on the University of Denver ski team. And here comes Schifrin, who made up some time at the the end well that's what she's known to do and there's her mom nodding her head and as she said she trusts her mom's eye so that was good solid skiing normal for shift to take a little bit of time to get into her groove but gained more speed as she went down just got that trademark classic technique. You know, she says she tries to channel not only Marley Shield, but also the great Ivica Kostelich and Marcel Hirscher when she skis slalom. The last Austrian woman now with a chance for individual gold at these world championships, Michaela Kirgasser, who again was first in the Schladming slalom in March at the end of last season. No wins this year, only three in her career but really suffering debilitating expectations on this Austrian team who have yet to have that gold medal. We'll see if she can handle it today. We saw her just focusing on top before the run. Quiet, and there she goes. She's gained on her lead there. Now, five tenths back is not too far to win a gold medal. Definitely not to be on the podium. She was the sixth best after the first run, trying to make a statement here and give the Austrian crowd here some hope with a final few skiers left. Oh, really letting him run through there, carrying that onto the flat really nicely from steep to flat. So here comes Kirk Gosser. Coming down the final few gates, and she is into the lead by a tenths. We'll see how it holds up in the end. found her potential in the past couple of years. She's been fiddling with her boots, adding ramp angle and forward lean so she could stay forward and harness the energy from the bent ski. And we just saw that this run. And you know, there's a couple of ruts on that bottom flat that is really hurting these later racers. They need to be aware of it. She nailed it. So we'll see if Schifrin was able to collect that nervous, really nervous energy that we talked about earlier and put it all together. Who could not expect a 17-year-old young woman in her first World Championship slalom, in which she's a favorite, not to be nervous this morning. But this is a woman who puts every experience in the bank, and I expect her to rip it on this second run. Schifrin was only 18 one-hundredths back of the leader, Frida Hemsdotter, who will go in a couple of skiers. 
He's got unbelievable fore aft balance. So these little ruts, she should be able to maintain contact with the snow. That's what she does best. She looks just a little bit tight there, a slight mistake. Unbelievable meteoric rise for Schifrin, who leads the slalom standings at this tender age. 10 one hundredths there. Here's where she's got to handle the little bit of deviation down here where Reese had trouble. And Schifrin trying to get ahead of the Austrian Kurt Gosser at the end, and she's done it. 22 one hundredths, Schifrin into the lead. And that guarantees Michaela Schifrin her first world championship medal. And it knocks another Austrian off the top of the stand. Well, if I know Schifrin, she'll be telling us about how many mistakes she made on that run. But she was precise, smooth, controlled, efficient. She handled the pressure of a world championship second run. Pretty darn nicely done. Guaranteed a medal. Let's see what color it is. Hans Daughter's time. Four second place finishes, including the last three before the World Championships. 111 overall World Cup starts and second to Schifrin in all three of Schifrin's World Cup wins. And her coach, Rudy Soulard, who set this course, calls her loose, easy, said she was cool between runs. He calls his whole team, the Swedes, that they're kind of control freaks, but not Frida. She's the exception. She will be able to handle this pressure. Hans Daughter, the last skier for Schifrin to dodge here if she wants the World Championship gold. That exuberant all-out attack, her arms are kind of all over the place, not nearly as disciplined and restrained as Michaela Schifrin. That's the spot where Schifrin did so well in this section. Lost a little bit of time, but just four one hundredths. Hans Dotter right in it as we come down to the last few gates. A little bit, gave a little away in that hole. Hans Dotter reaching to the finish line and above it, and Michaela Schifrin is a world champion at age 17. composure. She learned from her first run where she felt those nerves and came back and laid down a world-class run that no one could beat. You would say this is what little girls dream of, but she's still a little girl at age 17. And Michaela Schifrin, so dedicated for so many years, still can't quite believe it that she's a world champion. On top by 22 one hundredths of a second, Frida Hans daughter finishes four one hundredths back with the bronze just behind Kiergasser Tina Maze settles for fifth.